What's going on guys, welcome to episode 10 of my Road to Torvus series. So, reading the comments from the previous episode, a few of you wanted me to go to Bandos, so that's where I am right now, outside of the Bandos room there, he is General Grado. Um I haven't been to Bandos since the EOC, uh, so I'm a little bit nervous, I've got a melee set up this time instead of the mage, which I use both on Zami and Sarah. Um, but uh, yeah, I still should be able to own it pretty, uh, pretty well. Um, just got yak full of sour brews and super restores to keep me going, and uh, of course just the usual setup on in my invent such as dreadnips and overload. So um, I'm going to start it now because it's a free world. Um, I want to you know take advantage of that before someone comes in and quickly nicks it. Um, I think if we're to protect melee, I'm not entirely sure. I've, I've seen a few people protect melee uh, or soul spit, so you know I'm just going to test it out, see what both of them are like. But um, let's just pot up and uh, see how we do. So there we go, let's go straight in and uh, see how well we do. So here we go. Bandos has got some pretty good drops on him, um, including the, of course, the Bandos chest plate and also the Bandos helmet. They're like the two main ones, which are really good. Um, but straight away, I'm owning him. I'm hitting pretty well. Uh, let's use this uh, special. That's good. I probably won't get this kill because it looked like it was under half HP, but um, wow, this is actually really easy. Let's just finish off like that. There we go. Okay, so yeah, it's pretty good. Um, I'm guessing the minions are going to be simple as well. Oh, that was actually my drop. Got room plate. Uh, I'm going to bank that with my pack yak. Um, I do love this familiar. It's like the best one in my opinion. Um, so yeah, like always, guys, I'm going to record if I get any drops. But uh, I'm hoping. I hope you're liking this series. Like I am actually really enjoying it at the moment. Um, you know, Torv has always been a big goal of mine to get. Um, that's lucky actually someone's just logged in but um, yeah it's going to be awesome you know once I've got enough uh, drops to actually be able to afford the Torva set uh, but there we go alright then so my first uh, sort of rare drop that I got from Banos is a Clue Scroll Elite uh, I've just got this off a of minion uh, so it's kind of strange you know you usually think you'd get it from the, the actual boss because these are actually rated as very rare but I'm <laughs> going to do that later I uh, wonder if I can get anything good uh, last time I did it we got that Mithril Dragon Mask which was pretty cool that was like one mil, so um, yeah, I'll do that later, and uh, hopefully we can get something good from that. Wow, guys! So the first effigy of the Road to Torva series, finally. Um, I actually haven't seen an effigy probably in a couple of months, pro maybe even more. Like effigies are so rare now, but um, awesome to get one. I'm probably just gonna add it to the tab and just use it at the end. But uh, yeah, effigy! Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, so unfortunately I didn't get any kills at Bandos. I actually managed over 150 KC here again, uh, just like at Zami. Um, I had to leave because I realised my Goliath gloves had uh, broken and I don't know where my ring went. Did I even bring one? I'm not too sure, but I'm just going to teleport out now uh, before Bandos actually comes back. Um, I was just looking at it there, I was like, honestly, did I forget the ring all the way through that? Because I did pretty good, like, to do that without a ring and still have you know a fair bit of a uh, super restores left that was a uh, pretty decent um but uh yeah so the ring i probably would have took with me would be the onyx ring or maybe a berserk ring um, but yeah that was really good fun apart from the lack of drops like i didn't get anything good apart from actually the effigy um that was like the only good thing um apart from that the 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 whole trip was pretty sort of boring, um, nothing really happened. Uh, so what I'm going to do is just put everything in the bank and maybe gear up for another boss. Not entirely sure what boss I'm going to be doing yet, but I'm going to read the comments of the previous episode and see what you guys wanted. So just as I opened my bank, I remembered that uh, I actually got that Clue Scroll Elite, so that's what I'm going to do now. Um, should be able to get something you know, fairly good from that. You usually get at least 200k. Um, you know, unless you get really unlucky. Um, so I usually find elites pretty fun. So I'm going to go do that, and uh, I'm going to record once I've got the casket in my invent. Uh, so I'll see you once I'm there. Okay, then. So I've got myself the casket. Uh, it didn't really take too long to do, only about 30 minutes, which is pretty good for an elite clue scroll. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is open it and see what's inside. So here we go. So ancient chaps. Don't know how much they are, but. Uh, looks pretty good. Uh, it's got ancient chaps, two U seeds, a dragon longsword, a room plate bleed, and a crystal key. So let's price check that and see how much we made. So 180k first off the U seeds, that's a pretty good start. Uh, just from one item. I've uh, got the dragon longsword, 60k. Um, sorry, I'll take that out. That was actually just from a drop from a, a Guffix wizard which I got, um, which is pretty cool I guess. Uh, i got the, the room plate bleed and the crystal key. 
300k and then the chaps here we go oh 73k uh, I was expecting them to actually be a little bit more than that but uh, you know 373k for a elite clue score I'm really happy about that that's pretty good um, could have been worse but uh, there we go um, what I think we're going to be doing next is heading back to Bandos because uh, as you saw earlier on this episode I did go there unfortunately I didn't get any you know um, exclusive drops such as like a Bandos chest plate or something like that so what I will do is head back and see if I do get lucky and get one of them items uh, so yeah so I decided to go back to Saradomen as uh, you know I found it fun last time I went there and the second kill I got a God Sword Shard 3. I think this is like the third one I've actually got now. I think it is the God Sword Shard 3. I'm pretty sure it is but um, yeah pretty troll drop but still you know nice to get some, some cool drop like this uh, you know right at the start of the trip. Um, I'm going to continue to own these monsters and hopefully get some more uh, epic drops. Okay then, so Jagex are really trolling me. I've just got a God Sword Shard 2 as my second drop from the Saradomen trip. I'm 112 KC in and have not seen a single, you know, decent drop um, apart from that God Sword Shard earlier, which is, you know, pretty lame as like 150k each. And now I get this one. That is a massive troll. I uh, can't believe it. Hopefully I can get something. Have uh, only got one yak left, um, you know, which limits my time here, but. Uh, you know, I've still got like 50 minutes, so should get something. Okay, then, so I've nearly actually finished my trip. Um, I happen to have got an elite clue scroll. Um, fortunately, you know, of course, it's not really worth anything. It's not a, a unique drop here at Saradomen, but you know, it's still fun to do. Um, I could get something good from it. I was really hoping for a Saradomen drop, you know, like last time where I got them two amulets or maybe an armored or crossbow. Um, but you know, I think this is just going to be it because I've got like a dose of overload left. Um, which could probably get me one or two more kills and uh, that's going to be it as you can see I am on 160 KC that is quite a lot not to have a drop in that is uh, you know kind of frustrating but I have been lucky previously you know in the previous episode so I guess this is going to happen um, but uh, yeah <laughs> Okay then, so the trip is over, unfortunately I didn't get any more loot, uh, that kind of sucked, you know, I got 168 KC up there, and I got, you know, nothing special, um, so I'm actually just going to try and finish off these minions, um, I think next time when I come here I'm going to bring a uh, melee weapon as well, because it does take quite a long time to get down these minions, especially, uh, it can be quite frustrating, but um, yeah, that is everything for this, uh, this trip, I'm now actually just going to teleport out and actually show you the loot I did get, um, did actually get a magic seed towards the end, which is I think that was the best, um, the best one. I think that's like 200k, um, and then of course we got them Godsword shards, which are about 150k each. Uh, so I'm just going to quickly go to Edgeville now, using my glory in my house. I love this thing. It's like unlimited charges. Um, you know, it's pretty awesome. Um, but yeah, the other sort of loot that I got from the trip was just in my bank. I did like use my uh, pack yak a lot for some items such as like a rune kite shield. Um, and a few other things, but uh, Godsword Shard 2, that's actually the first one I've got, so it's kind of cool. Um, and then of course, like the Godsword Shard 3, I've got three of them now. Um, big troll, uh, I've got a load of rune kites, I'm just going to try and find actually where they are, there they are. Uh, so I've got seven of them, I can't exactly remember how many I uh, actually got, but um, you know, this is what the tab is looking like. Uh, so I'm just going to price check everything from this trip, it was a really, really bad one, wasn't, you know, amazing. Um, so it looks like everything, so 630k, so I guess that did add, kind of add up a little bit um, to a fair amount. Just wish I actually got something uh, like an amulet to make it into the at least mill mark, but uh, 630k is not too bad. Plus the Elite Clue Scroll, I'm actually going to go do the Elite Clue Scroll now and I'm going to finish off the episode with that. Um, you know, hopefully I can get something good and end it on a high. Um, so that's what I'm going to do now, so I'll see you uh, once I've done it. Okay then, so I'm on the last stage of that elite clue scroll, just going to click the button unlock, I'm going to see my reward, what's it going to be? Oh god, what a massive troll, uh, straight away, 10 Nardar teleports, a crystal key, 2 room plate bodies and a dragon dagger, wow that is uh, that is shocking, um, was a pretty bad episode in terms of getting loot, but um, let's just quickly price check it, price check all of this and see how much it is. Uh, 143k, so that's your average elite clue scroll, um, nothing special. Uh, that kind of sucks. Um, I was also going to say, um, because it is episode 10, I'm actually going to uh, show you, you know, the, all of the loot. I'm going to, I'm going to price check it and, uh, you know, just have an overview. Um, I'm going to try and do this every 10 episodes. I'm not entirely sure how long the series is going to be, um, 
but uh, I thought that'd be pretty good just to show you guys and you know just a guide for me just to show you where I'm standing um, so that's what I'm going to do now I'm going to head over to a bank and uh, show you everything so I will see you there okay then so I'm at a bank now uh, I'm going to go straight to the money pots which I have a total of 29 point pretty much 29.2 mil uh, collected since the series which is pretty good um, you know the majority of that is from them RM's books which I got but uh, you know that's really cool um, I'm actually really glad I sold them because I sold them for like 10 mil that's just insane um, what I will do is take all but one uh, I kind of want to keep the layout I know it's still going to be messed up but um, you know I'm guessing just keeping one of them will just like, you know, kind of keep it in shape but uh, here is where it does mess up so you've got to remember that I only got one boundless tacits the other one is my own um, so you know just keep that in mind I think what I might do uh, actually just to save a bit of time is to only withdraw all of the expensive stuff um, because you know some of it is pretty cheap I'm just looking for something such as you know these uh, ancient chaps are like 50 60k or something like that it's not exactly worth too much um, so I'm only going to withdraw the most expensive stuff um, I have got quite a few things uh, which is uh, you know worth a bit which is uh, pretty cool. I'm um, just looking through here. Got the Hood of Subjugation. That was awesome. Um, I think I will take out these Gods of Shards just because you know they're kind of unique, um, and you know they're just nice to see. Um, try not to miss out anything because there is so much loot in here. I'm just trying to pick out the the most expensive ones. Um, if not, then I'll just start taking out everything. But uh, looks like I've got most things. Take out that. Got one more one more free space, got the onyx bolts, I think they're like one mil, I think that's the most expensive leftover, yep it is, okay I'll take it out and uh, what I can actually quickly do is just click on this and it's totaled up to 70 mil, so wow, um, that's uh, quite a few more than uh, what, ex what, uh, what I expected, um, someone actually left in the comments that it was worth around 53 mil, so um, kind of a little bit off um, but still you know 70 mil for all of that is epic um, he might have actually included the the street prices that's probably why it was a little bit less of him but um probably is actually worth a little bit less than 70 mil I'd say still 50 60 mil because you know some of these stuff such as the dragon kite shields are like way overpriced than what they actually are uh, but you know still just to know that I am around that that price is a uh, pretty good I will be going to like next and tormented demons in episode 11 so you know make sure you uh watch that that's gonna be insane um please subscribe if you haven't already it really does help me you know and as soon as i do put out a new episode then you'll be the first to uh, watch it and of course like always like the video if you did enjoy it. it really does help me out um if i get like a load of likes i'm more motivated to make the next episode and you know i'll make it sooner so you can watch it um but yeah this will be episode 10 i was like forgetting which one it was then but this is episode 10 um tab is looking really good i'm like really you know excited for this uh, episode or this whole series actually it's been really good fun and uh, yeah that is going to be everything so uh, thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one